No matter the material, fabric, wood, or metal, expenses skyrocketed over the last few years for this Calgary mattress manufacturer. But now they're stabilizing. The cost of foam has actually fallen. That's gone down about 5%, and foam's used in everything from car seats to mattresses to pillows. The latest figures released by Statistics Canada show the rate of inflation slowing to 2.9% in January, the first time it's been below 3% since last June. I think it brought good news to consumers, to businesses, and to the Bank of Canada, and we could all use some good news. Prices of clothes and footwear actually fell last month compared to one year ago. So did fuel. Food prices continued to climb, though at a slower rate. But rent and mortgage payments remain stubbornly high. Mortgage interest payments also went up by double digits year over year because when homeowners renew their mortgage, the previous rate might be 2%, 3%, and suddenly now they're paying 6% on their mortgages. And that's why, for many, it doesn't feel like inflation is slowing down. I'm not just working one job, I'm working three jobs just to make ends meet. Things are so expensive. Like, I wanted to buy strawberries and that seems like a luxury. But we just can't afford to go for a meal for three people plus taxes and tip. Help could come later this year. If inflation stays below 3% and keeps falling, interest rates could also fall. We are optimistic that the Bank of Canada will uh, start bringing down interest rates uh, sometime this year, hopefully sooner rather than later, but that is their decision to make. In the meantime, no more price shocks are expected here. I feel like there's a bit of a stabilization, uh, at least uh, for the interim. Um, and I think that's going to be the course for at least 2024 and 2025. Making it a bit easier to rest with more predictable prices. Kyle Bax, CBC News, Calgary.